G'day viewers, um, I'm going to make a uh, petrol powered vacuum cleaner. Um, most people, in fact all the videos I've seen on YouTube are a vacuum, uh, uh, an air powered source like this, you know, a blower um, attached to a bucket. So I, when I was going to do that, wasn't going to make a video, I mean there's, there's plenty of them already. but I scored on a rubbish pile a proper bucket vacuum cleaner. It was electric, I've cut the cord off, I'll scrap that for copper. Um, but I was really hoping to get one of these kinds for the simple fact, firstly I don't have to worry about trying to take these lids off because they're really hard. Um, they seal really well, which is a good thing, but then it would be hard to take off. And I know on the videos they have screw on lids but I haven't seen those here in Australia. I think it might just be an American thing. Um, whereas this one here just has a clip. Simple, nice and easy. A clip on one side and a clip on the other, which is really good. Um, there's the hose coming at this end. So it was already designed as a bucket vacuum. Um, however, one thing that really bothered me with this style here is the fine, the fine gold could be sucked in through the side of the bucket and then brought up through the, the air blower and blown out. You could lose fine gold. And I thought, well, a proper vacuum, a proper bucket vacuum has a filter which would stop any microns, small dust and so on from escaping. And also people with this type of vacuum have said it's very dusty because of all the dust that gets blown out through the the spout. So when I found this one I was extremely happy because like I said they have a filter on them. Now I've already gone ahead and taken off the electric motor. I've unscrewed it all. That's what I was faced with there. Then I undid that and I found the electric motor and then I was undoing this to see how this all comes off. It's just an additional filter to stop dirt from getting into their motor. And I found these screw holes, so I took this off. And holy hell, a perfect recess for my blower. That should sit on there spot on. Unbelievable. I can't wait to attach this. It's going to be perfect. Now, what I really wanted to do was to retain these side parts for the clip. I was really hoping when I pulled it all apart that these these side parts here would stay and they have which is amazing see it's all part of that so I'll take this away for a second you see that clips onto there and this one over here clips on here that's all I have to undo to get to the inside of my bucket when I undo it what I was really really hoping for is that filter okay this just lifts out and all the dirt goes in the bottom there and it's, this here would stop any of the microns fine dust etc from being blown out i am so excited so once i've got it all put together i'll show you this so after looking at this more closely i've realized it couldn't be any easier to attach can't believe how, how well this is all coming together. Um, all I need to do is those screw holes that were holding the electric motor down, I can screw from underneath with the screws coming up through those holes instead of the other way around and straight into the bottom of my fan. I don't need to worry about taking all those grooves off as people in other videos have. They're not going to bother it one bit. Um, if I can hold this without dropping the camera. Those screws will hopefully enter around here. So these, these grooves aren't going to make any difference. And it's a perfect snug fit on there. And if you look from the side, imagining that it was already fitted, there's going to be a slight gap, which means I'll just put some silicon all around there and it will seal up perfectly. The whole way around it's going to be like that. There's nothing stopping it from fitting down nice and snug. 
just those little things. I could, if I wanted to, grind these tabs down, but I believe that, and here I've taken the shroud off already, I believe that all that is sitting in here nicely, and I want a pocket of air in there for the vacuum. I think that would be important. If the fan was too close to here, I don't know how well it would work. I think it needs a pocket of air here and then would draw in through these holes. Um, I may in time want to drill this out more, I don't know. Uh, obviously it was designed that way for the electric fan and it worked fine for them, so I don't see why I should need to alter it. Um, none of these need to be taken off. Everything should be fine. I'll just put a layer of silicon around, put the screw holes through from the back, and I'll let you know when I've done that. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken all the screws that was holding the electric motor down onto here, and I've, instead of sending them, instead of putting them through the here, I've sent them through the back, like so. Just sticking through enough at this point in time where they're going to leave a mark under here where it's going to sit what i want to make sure is that when they go through they don't hit that fan and they're going to be up here somewhere so they should be well and truly clear because the fan stops about here somewhere as, as far as i can see from looking in there but i'll put this on here i'll press down on it and hopefully leave a mark from each of the screws I'll look at it, make sure it's going to be okay, and if it is, then I'll screw them all down, and it'll be permanently fixed to the lid, and I'll just put a bit of silicon around here, so back when it's done. Okay, so I've got the, um, the blower screwed down onto the lid, it's all nice and snug all the way around. All I've got to do now is put some silicon in there, as you can see, lift it up, it's all bolted on. I sawed the end off because I don't need that part over there. It's not going to be blowing dust because of the filter. And I serviced the pump and motor, so it's all running smick, it's all nice and clean. Once I put the silicon on, it's ready to go. I'll let you know when it's finished. Okay, so I've put silicon all around, I don't know if you can see in this light here. All around the edge, as I mentioned before, right the way around. Let's see if I can tip it over. I might be able to see better. I don't know the light shining on the phone. I don't know which way it's facing. There we go. So the silicon all the way around. Now it's got nothing to stop the suction. I'll show you it working. sand really well and there was clumps of dirt there and so on so it works perfectly now this hose here is broken and that was broken when I got it so that's more than likely why they threw it away and I'm hoping that I can just buy a replacement I don't see why I wouldn't but it seems to be working for now so uh, there you go it's my bucket back thanks for tuning in I hope you like my videos if you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.